Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I am going to create another scrapbook layout for you today. We are going to work with the Life's a Hoot collection and I have some scraps here. I already created a double page layout with this uh, paper pack so I'll leave that in the description box below just in case you haven't caught it. But I've got some good sized chunks. Pretty much all of these are cut into and then I've got some paper strips but still lots to work with. I do have have um, quite a few stickers left although I'm not sure I'm going to use these maybe some of the word stickers and then I did get the workshop option which had some bonus pattern papers in there so I might pull some of these in as well but let me show you my pictures I like to get up early and do my morning workout and I have helpers <laughs> so this is Dave and Luna always in the way and just love to be in the action. So I thought uh, it would be fun to document this memory. Plus my yoga mat is purple and this kit has a ton of purples and teals in there. Even one of my weights is teal. So I thought, wow, that's perfect. That's gonna work. It's a brighter color purple, but the tones still go with this paper collection. And funny, I was coming up blank for a title option on these photos. So as a close to my heart maker, we have a private group and there's like 5,000 makers in there. And so I just kind of posted the pictures and asked for help with creative titles. You guys, they were so funny. I'll share some of the title options with you as we go uh, through the video here. So stay tuned for those. This is going to be a single page layout since I only have the two photos. And then we're going to start the layout on a sheet of white daisy. Let's get that squared up. I already have a couple glue dots to hold that down. I love to use a large strip of pattern paper on either the left or right side and just kind of build out from that. So I'm going to use this one. I already had that cut. It is 12 by four and a half inches. And then I had this one, which I did trim down. I cleaned up this scrap to fit my photos here. So those are going to sit just like that. And I printed them with a white border and then matted them on a thin pop of black just to help those stand out. And black is a color, coordinating color in this layout. So, and then my little dog Luna is black and white. So I'm going to bring in pops of black in the embellishments and title. I am working off of a layout I saw on Pinterest, which I will leave in the description box below. And they had a larger piece kind of here. So I'm thinking I want to use this pattern paper and then I'll ink up the edges so that these have a little bit more contrast between the two. So let me cut this one down. This is one of the bonus pattern papers and you can kind of see that visual texture in the background. So I trimmed this to 11 inches by 8 inches. So the 11 inches is going to give us a nice half inch margin on either side. And then just using the Versamat, I can easily see that centered. So I have half an inch, half an inch, and then two inches, and again, two inches. So it's super, that's one of the things I love about the Versamat. So we're going to bring this back in. And you guys know how much I love stripe pattern papers because even though we're bringing in all of the colors with this one here, I just really love stripe papers. So a little accent of stripe paper goes a long way. We're gonna tuck that right under there just like that. So that's gonna be the basis for my layout. And I think you could put the title here, but I think I'm gonna put the title up in this area here. Now, you know, I can't help myself and I have to ink up the edges. So I've got black ink and a little handheld Ranger sponge dauber tool. But while I do this, it's a great opportunity to remind you, the creative design team, we are having our one year anniversary celebration for our membership group. But to celebrate, we're having a free event over on Facebook and it's going to be fun. It's going to be Friday, this Friday, the 24th and Saturday, the 25th, we're going to have have a live welcome. We're going to have challenges each day. And then each of us are teaching a class. I'm going to be teaching on embellishment clusters. So if that's something you want to learn more about, be sure to tune in. Each of us has a different topic. So it's going to be really fun. And for the challenges, there will be prizes. And then we're going to finish Saturday with a live Q&A. The schedule is posted over in the Facebook group so you can figure out the times. But you can always come back and watch those classes afterwards because they'll be saved in the group. 
If you do want to join in the celebration event, just click the little see more in the description box below or the drop down arrow. It'll open that up and you can find the link to the Facebook celebration event. So just join up and that way you won't miss out. I hope to see you there. For my title, I'm going to use this Pennant Banner Alpha, but they also have this Anthem Alpha, and I want to show you the difference here. They're both really fun. I actually love these and use them quite a bit. They have these thin cuts, so you can cut out the little pennant banners and then stamp the letters. They have the little like string banner that you can hang them from. And then this one, the Alpha or Anthem Alpha, they are larger and a little bit different shape, so you can see the difference there. But even if you don't want to stamp the letters, those are so fun to create little accents on your page, just little decorative banner elements. I'm going to pull out the three. I'm not going to use the triangle. I'm struggling. Let me, let me get that out of there. But uh, I'm going to use these three pieces to create a part of my title. And then I will cut the rest out of my Cricut. I'm using Periwinkle cardstock here. Actually, that's Wisteria. And then I'm gonna stamp the letters with black ink. So let me just kind of space these out. And I have a little pattern. So there's three different ones and that pattern is going to repeat itself. And then you just wanna grab a block that is the appropriate size. And then I have my stamp chamois to clean those off so I can put them right back on the carrier sheet and keep everything tidy. So I have my letter P here. And then it's very easy to line these up onto your little pendants there. And then just use your stamp chamois. Every time I craft, I go and I rinse that out in my kitchen sink. And then just, you want it damp. So it is stained, but the you can rinse the ink out. And then it's really handy to just wipe your stamps up on it as you go. I did decide on possum workout for my title. I use the word awesome all the time. Numerous times a day I'm saying awesome this, awesome that, or whatever it may be. So it kind of goes along with how I think and how I talk, and it's a play on the word awesome, so it made sense to use this one. However, it was tough. There were so many great suggestions, and I am going to include those in the journaling because I do want to remember those as well. This I cut on my Cricut. It is a font called Autumn in November, and that is a free font. I learned about it from Jama, and you can find that on defont.com. I absolutely love it. Now, I want to bring in some of my stamps to create my own embellishments. I have all of my like kind of dog and cat and animals in here. So I'm just kind of looking through. I'm going to pull out ones that I think might work. I don't pass up on the dog or cat stamps because they're a big part of my life and I know I'm going to use them. And there's different little animals on here, but there's also all sorts of fun little word sentiments that I could use to create embellishments with as well. So I know I want to use this one here. I have intense black ink because I am going to color these in with my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers, and this is a alcohol marker friendly ink. So we have the little kitty, and then I'm going to stamp the dog as well. Some of these stamp sets are still available. Some are already gone, but I will leave them in the description box below. So if they're not there, that's probably because they're no longer available. There's this cute little bone here, and I'm going to fill that in with the uh, wisteria ink and i thought that those would be like little barbells they can use bones one of them i didn't quite line up so i'm stamping a third one and then i'm going to outline it in the black ink i have a couple marker colors this is the ice gray blend the which is the lighter it's the ice gray blend ice gray shades would be the darker version of this and i'm using the medium to create some shadows so there's going to be shadows on the bottom side of this little kitty here and i chose the ice gray because it really complements the purple tones in this color palette here. There's also the brown gray blend, which would be more of your warmer grays. But um, yeah, this is gonna look really good and almost has kind of a purple undertone to begin with. Now I'm just using the lightest shade to color this in. I can always go back in with the darker to create more shadows and more depth as, you know, if I feel like it needs it. 
So I want to share some of the titles with you guys. These ladies are so clever. So some of the suggestions included Weight Watchers, which I thought was hilarious. And then Chest Day. I thought you said Rest Day. And I love this one. Exercise. I thought you said Extra Fries. My animals would totally be thinking that. There was Feeling Strong, like Feline Strong, but Feeling Strong. And then Check Me Out. And you spell it like me out. M-E-O-W-T. And there was just so many of them, but these really had me laughing. And it was just so cool that everybody was just willing to pitch in and share their punny titles. I am not good at titles. That is definitely not one of my scrapbooking strengths. So I really appreciate that you could just post pictures in the community group and get so many fabulous suggestions. Now for the dog, I am using the ice gray shades, which again is darker because little Luna, I'm going to color this to look like Luna and she's black, but we don't want to lose the detail in the stamp. So these very dark gray colors will give the look and feel of black, but still preserve the detail of the stamped image. I'm going around the edge with the darkest color and I do want to leave like a white chest and a little white on her face. We're basically going to make her look like a border collie. Let's see some of the other title suggestions. Well, possum workout was one of the suggestions that I decided to go with, but there was uh, furry fitness friends and waiting on you, but spelt like a weight, like a dumbbell weight. I mean, just endless suggestions. So funny and clever. So I'm just about finished with my little dog here, and these do have coordinating dies, so I can go ahead and uh, line these up, and then I'll run those through my die cutting machine. And then we have our cute little custom embellishments. Now I wanna create a embellishment cluster over in the right lower corner here to kind of create a diagonal line with our title. Those two little bones are gonna be the dumbbells, but we need some color. Now this is the flamingo paper, and there's that big spot on the pattern paper, so I wanna draw that over. I've got a couple options. I love using circles to kind of tie all my embellishments in, but maybe the heart. I use circles all the time. So let's switch it up and use this uh, heart. Plus this has the faux stitching detail. This is a retired heart die, um, but hopefully you have something in your stash similar. Oh, this might be cute. We'll pop him from behind the heart there. I like that. And then we'll put the little kitty here. Now I can stamp a sentiment on the heart. There's this one, it says, love is a four legged word, and that is going to fit nicely. So I'm just gonna use my black ink and then that way it's gonna draw a little touch of black over to this corner as well. So just give it a second to soak in and perfect. We can tuck that back in. Oh yes, I'm really liking how that looks. Now I don't have any workout themed stamps, but I wanna make these guys look more like they're working out. So I have washi tape, these really teeny tiny strips of washi tape that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I use this in my you know bullet journaling and in my planners, but I thought, Maybe we can add just a little strip to the top of them and it'll look like a sweatband. So this one's glittery and it's kind of like a smoky purpley charcoal. So I'm just going to kind of line that up on the top of the little kitty's brow here. And then I have my nonstick micro tip scissors. Anytime you're using or cutting through something sticky, the nonstick scissors are the ones you want to grab. And then on the little dog, let's use one of these little uh, strips here because they match the flamingo colored patterned paper. I don't necessarily wear a sweatband when I work out, but I think it's going to give that look that I'm going for on these cute little die cuts here. So I'm just trying to cut it on an angle to match the angled shape of the stamp. Let me just squeeze the scissors under and there, I think that looks cute. I typed up my journaling and printed it out on my Avery Clear labeling tape. This does come in an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Now I'll start with a full sheet, but as it gets smaller, so there's very minimal waste, I will cut these down to like four by six pieces and then just run that through my printer in the photo spot because I can do that with a smaller piece of paper. And then I'm having very little waste with my sticker paper. 
This is acid-free and non-yellowing, so it is safe for your scrapbooks. And I love how it looks like you printed your journaling right on the paper, and we can see that fun pattern showing through. Now, this stamp is called Lovin' Right Now. I love stamp sets like this because there are just random usable things that you can use on darn near any scrapbook layout. So this says killing it. I stamped that in black ink and I thought that was perfect for a workout. And I'm just going to trim this up and we're going to create a tiny embellishment cluster on the left side of the photos just above the journaling. Dave and Luna are so funny. This is literally a daily occurrence and you can see little Luna planting herself right in between the barbells so I can't help but you know pay attention to her when I reach down to pick those up and they just they make me laugh they make the workout go by a little bit faster and I just I think it's great and I definitely want to remember these moments. I have this little tiny balloon die and it has a ribbon and I thought, you know what? That is perfect. That's one of those little pieces you're going to use over and over and over again. It's the perfect size for these little banners. I mean, you could draw little heart strings, um, but I am just using my journaling pen to create a black line above the banner. There was one that came with the stamp, but it wasn't quite long enough and I could have masked it off and made it work, but this was just, uh, just as easy to use my pen pen and then let me grab my little pickup tool this is a wax pencil I broke mine because I shoved it in a bag when I went to a retreat I'm actually going to cut that in half and then I'll have two wax pencils but you just sharpen the tip and it's perfect for picking up these tiny bits of paper and embellishments and then we're going to put one on each corner isn't that bow the perfect size from the balloon die I love that I do want to add a few enamel dots. These are from the Freshly Baked collection, which was a Christmas, a holiday collection, but they have these little flamingo dots and there's some hearts in here as well. So I'm going to add just a couple of these to each of the clusters. You'll notice I added a smaller flamingo paper heart under the word killing it over here because it looked a little lonely by itself and it needed, you know, something to give it a little more presence. I also added some stamped paw prints and then I stamped stay positive on a little circle and then added some black splatter to the background. Those were all afterthoughts so sorry I didn't catch that part on camera. If you found this layout inspiring and picked up some helpful tips, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for doing that. It does help me out here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And I hope to see you guys over on Facebook for our one year anniversary event. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.